Hey guys, I'm just out here in my garden. And, you know, sometimes you find out things just by accident. You know, nature teaches you what to do next. If you can notice here on my corn plants, there's field peas climbing up the corn. I did not plant those field peas. I planted a cover crop last year to build nitrogen in the soil. And these aren't the greatest soils. I'm up on a mountain here. Not really farmland soil at all. And those peas went to seed and they came up by themselves with the corn that I planted. And I did not put any inputs into this ground at all. I merely, uh, I did spray a little bit. I sprayed some weeds and pulled weeds. But I mainly just stuck the corn in the ground and the peas reseeded themselves and came up with the corn. Didn't hurt the corn at all. In fact, I have, uh, I have some beautiful corn here. But you can see that the peas have gone up the corn stalks all the way to the top. Now imagine if this were a food plot and I went ahead and planted these two crops together it's now uh, the middle of August, and let's say I had a deer-proof fence around here, or you had your deer uh, in control. You know, you had your population control going on, and you have plenty of food. There's plenty of forage available for the population that you have. Uh, they wouldn't be able to keep up with these peas if you had enough acres grown. And it would look like this. Can you imagine if you had this right now, and you, if you had it fenced, you could take the fence down and deer would just go crazy on these peas. And then later on in the year, after frost, they could start eating the corn. So that'd be a constant draw from now all the way through wintertime, right into uh, hunting season and to the end of hunting season. So I might just try that next year on purpose. This was a total accident. But, uh, you know, these peas just came up on their own and did extremely well here. All right, something to try? Give it a try and let me know how it goes.